Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone out there watching and listening and is somehow tuned in right now. Welcome, this is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. Welcome, and uh, let's get right into it. I am breaking out today, uh, not even a regular wing collar, but an extra spiffy, detachable wing collar just because I wanted to wear one, quite frankly, no other occasion. Um, but also, on the same day that I am wearing this special collar, Wendy's has released a new item, and I'm actually pretty excited about this, and I'll tell you why. Uh, lately, there haven't been a lot of new releases in the world of fast food. Um, you know, there's been a couple here and there. Of course, there was the Dream Burger that was released last week, and then before that, Taco Bell released something. But really, unlike earlier in the year, you know, the amount of releases coming out has greatly slowed. Now, maybe there are big things being planned. Maybe they just ran out of ideas. I don't know. Either way, it was just kind of refreshing to see a new item on the menu, and uh, always a lot of fun to just try them out and see what's going on, see what it's all about. So we found ourselves at Wendy's today and obtained the new Bourbon Bacon Cheeseburger, it's called. So what does it have on it? You know, the Bourbon Bacon Cheeseburger. A lot of... Um, you know, a lot of questions are kind of arising right now. Bourbon, right? And then bacon cheeseburger, you know, do you need to be 21 to order this? What's on it exactly, etc. Um, well, number one, you cannot get drunk from eating the burger. So there is no age limit or requirement or any of that. So that answers that question. Uh, all right, here's what it comes with, though. A quarter pound beef patty. Also comes with your applewood smoked bacon, American cheese, crispy onions. Right, so already it just sounds like a, you know, pretty standard bacon cheeseburger with a little bit of uh, those crispy onion strings on it. And then it also comes with sweet and smoky bourbon bacon sauce. So the sauce is actually called bourbon bacon sauce. Um, I thought maybe it was just like a type of bourbon sauce. And then there's bacon on, you know, the cheeseburger, which course there is, um, but it actually is a bourbon bacon sauce, it's called. You can get it with anywhere from one or three patties, you know, a double, single, triple. Uh, I got a double, and that was for around six bucks. If you want to get a regular, you know, a single, it's about five bucks. It says, your break fast could have been free. And here's it. Here it is. Looks like a pretty decent sized burger, if I say so myself. Very reflective. So now we'll just un unravel it. We'll see what it's all about. Yes, they threw in some barbecue sauce for good luck. Okay, there is. See, I was worried for a second. I saw the barbecue sauce. I was thinking, oh no, and did they just give me like a uh, a regular cheeseburger and then just put the barbecue sauce on the side? But no, no. All right, here's what it looks like. Um, pretty straightforward, I would say. Got the melted cheese there, the bacon on the top, and uh, the onion strings, of course. Now you're not seeing a ton of sauce, but kind of soaked into the top bun there. See it? That's what that's that's the sauce. All right, that is the blessed um, bourbon sauce, as they say. So, you know, pretty basic sandwich, I'd say. Um, let's just find out what it's all about. Let's try it out. Camera's focused a little weird. There it is. I'll just take a thumbnail shot real quick before I forget. You know, I don't know. We'll get this this angle here. Big smile for the camera. Yeah, something like that. And I don't know, I have a feeling that this one might be pretty good, maybe not. I, I don't know, sometimes those bourbon, you know, barbecue sauces, they can, they can work really well for the burger. Sometimes they're better than you think, sometimes they're worse, so we'll just try it out. All right, bourbon bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's going in.
We're going to take two more bites or so. You ever uh, you know, stay up late into night and ponder, what if there was like a bus or something that instead of just using gasoline, it used the uh, bourbon bacon sauce as fuel? You know, what, what, what would happen? Well, I don't know. What, what would happen if, if, if that did? I don't know. Beats me. Here's what we got. I know, like, you might be seeing my reaction right now, and you might be thinking, oh boy, this one's gonna be bad. No, it's actually not. I have one slight frustration, and I guess it's something that's like, you know, it's a frustration, but not, not in an overwhelmingly bad way. It's something that I think could be improved upon, um, because it would be even better with it. I like the burger. Um, I think that they legitimately did a good job here, and compared to some of their releases... Uh, this definitely ranks in like that upper, upper echelon of the you know of the Wendy's releases. The thing with these sorts of you know bourbon barbecue type burgers, they're always real hit or miss. It's like they're either really really good or they just miss the mark completely. This one's really good. All right, number one onto all the you know the more basic ingredients. Right, you got the beef patties here. You can see that they're thick. There's a good amount of of meat. Um, Certainly is juicy, it's flavorful, you're getting a good amount of it. The American cheese, although you do have the two slices, you know, the one in between the patties and then the one on top of the patties, it's not overwhelmingly, you know, cheesy to excess or anything. Uh, there's still a good amount of cheese, it ties it all together, it kind of holds everything together too. Not a problem. Uh, works out as a nice cheeseburger. There's, um, you know, definitely a decent amount of bacon, I mean, you know pretty crisp, pretty flavorful, etc. Um, the onion strings, I wish, were a little on the crispier side, but still, they're okay. It's not like they're too soggy or anything. And again, the onions, you know, they can be very potent. It's not overwhelming, not underwhelming either. So here's what, of course, we're all focused on, uh, that bourbon bacon sauce. I really like it. I like how it tastes. I like that there is this sweetness to it. It's exactly as they describe it. Um, there's a nice sweetness to it as I, as I begin to taste it, but then there's this nice smokiness too. It's like just a nice sweet and smoky, you know, not a barbecue sauce, of course, a bourbon sauce, but it just, it just works with everything. It works with the onion. It works with the bacon, and it works with the beef patties. This is the signature ingredient, ties it all together. But there's a problem. Look at the sides of the sandwich, and this is where my frustration comes in, right? And now look at the amount of the bourbon sauce that's on it. A little bit soaked into the top bun there, but not much more. For a sauce that good, I really think that this sandwich would need a bit more of it. Now, a lot of the time I feel like I'm actually, you know, kind of saying, oh, this has too much sauce has too much mayo, too much this, too much that, it drowns out the other flavors. Uh, this is the opposite. I think that this sauce is good to the point where it, it really needs a bit more than what is already um, there. I would recommend going forward if you get this, order it with um, some extra, uh, extra bourbon bacon sauce because it's good. I like it. It's a nice, almost like, you know, kind of smokehouse type burger or, or something to that extent. But the sauce is really good, it ties it all together. But I wish that there was more, because every bite that I have where it's like, you just have a few, a little hint of it, a tiny note of that sauce, it's like, you want more, and you wish that there was more. And you think about, it's a decent sandwich, but how much better it would even be if there's more sauce. Uh, so it's just lacking in terms of that, that I wish there were more, but it's good in every other way, pretty much. Um, you know, but what a difference the sauce would make. The burger that I got, um, I would rate uh, an 8.0 out of 10, 
you know, because of just that sauce, I would have rated it higher if there were more sauce, etc. Um, but, you know, it's a Wendy's burger. It's not the best thing in the world, not the worst, um, but certainly decent for what they did. You know, again, I just wish there were more sauce. And uh, if you get it, I would just say, uh, you know, add extra sauce. I'd say, could I get it with extra um, bourbon bacon sauce? So with that, that's all that I have for you. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today I tried out the bourbon bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's. Pretty decent, needs a bit more sauce, but I think that's an issue that could easily be solved when you're ordering it. All right, everyone, that's all that I have. Thanks for watching and take care.